Okay, hellos. Um, I don't usually do a bunch of recording, so I don't know how good this is going to be, but uh, I'll just jump through it. I promised you guys I was going to show you. So I've just actually gone over to Twilio and basically used a temp mail, uh, temp number kind of thing just to set you up like a little demo, uh, demo account. So I've just kind of authenticated all that. Um, so yeah, now that I'm in, I'll just show you where I go from here. So we're going to grab a trial phone number. There we go, so we've got one of them. Uh, so we'll just have that coupled in. And then the first thing we're going to do, it's going to, it's going to look a little bit codey, it's going to look a bit scary, but it really isn't. So let me just show you how to do that. It's just copy and paste. I'm going to go to jump to up here. I'm going to type in twimmel, and we're looking for the twimmel bins. And boom. So these are small little bits of code that we can call upon later on. Um, the studio that we're going to be working in, it's like drag and drop, flow diagrams, which is great for new users, but it doesn't have all the functionality that coding does. So yeah, we're just going to use a little bit of code. So create a new tool bin. Uh, we're going to call this one Whisper, because this is going to be responsible for our whispering. Uh, I'm just going to jump off screen, grab this. And what I'll do is I'll actually I'll have this out in like a, maybe like a Google Doc or something so you guys can copy and paste this. Um, so this is the free lead from Bay the Web Guy. That's kind of my online marketing branding name. Um, so that's all validated. It's whispered, so create. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep hold of this link here. So we're just going to copy that. Uh, we're now going to go ahead and go back to, uh, to more bins. We're going to make one more. So from here, we're going to call this uh, forwarding. Perfect. And then I'm going to grab another little bit of code and push that in there. Now, the only thing you need to change here is this ringtone here is set for Great Britain. So if you're in the UK, that's fine. If you're in the US, swap it out with US. Um, and if it's something else, then just do a little Google search for uh, two letter country code. And then what you'll find is it's this ISO 3166, um, and they'll have a bunch of two letter codes for each country. So pop that in there, and then everything else here should be absolutely fine. Now, the only thing that I've done is boom. Remember that little URL? Oh crap, no, don't do that. The little URL that we grabbed earlier. So we're just going to pop that in there instead. So create. And then I'll just doubly confirm what I've done there. So if you go back to my tool bins, you should have whisper and forwarding. If you go to whisper, We've got this little bit of code here and we've copied this and then on the forwarding one we've just made sure that we filled this in with the one that we've pasted from the other one yeah so that's it so you've saved both of them uh, we're now going to copy this and keep this one around so we want the forwarding url there and that's all the difficult bit done uh, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into studio so Studio Flows. Uh, my first flow. So I've basically started and got a little bit of a head start, but I'll talk you through what I've done. And this is going to be really the only thing you're ever going to have to jump in and change is literally just on, on this screen here. Um, so ultimately we've got a trigger. So we've got an incoming call. Um, what we're going to do is basically add all of the calls um, so when it comes here to do, yeah, I'll, I'll sort that out in a second. But yeah, basically we'll send all of the numbers that we run to come to this flow and then they'll come through here. Um, it's actually a step back on the phone number setup. So that will happen, they'll come through. Uh, then what we're going to do is using these bits on the side, we're just going to drag and drop. And we want to split. Now, you have to make sure that you drag, I mean, let me, so 
know how I get rid of that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, anyway, so these, these little red dots, basically you have to drag it on uh, onto this. So once you do that, you want to get the incoming call onto your splitter. Um, what that's then going to let you do is on here, you should have a drop down and you're going to have the triggers. That's this up here. Uh, and we're going to split things based on who they're trying to call. Um, so that's kind of the number, the rented number. So we're going to click that. I'll call it lead splitter just so I know kind of what this does, what the job is. <clears throat> um, and then on transition. So we're going to add a new transition equal to, and then this, we're going to slow down now and just kind of recap on what's happened. Um, so basically you've bought a number from Twilio. Uh, obviously this is just the trial, so they've given you a trial one, but we'd have bought a number. We'll set that to go into this flow. Um, somebody rings that number and it comes through here and it says, right, because we're going to have maybe 10 or 15 different numbers, 50 different numbers possibly all coming to this one flow. So it's easy to manage. What we now need to do is basically split them up. Um, so as they come through, we're going to say if the number that we had, if that's the one that is ringing through, um, then we'd like to send them on to this one here. Um, let me just make a new one as well. So do new condition. So equal to, you're going to put in your number, bearing in mind it's going to be plus, I think for UK mobiles it'll literally be 447, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's no spaces, so that's kind of how it's formatted. And then you hit set. Uh, what you would do as well, it will have this really weird name up here. So I'll rename it and I'll put the domain name that it's coming from. So that'll be like niche plumbing. Boom and then set. Um, so then that's going to sit there. Don't worry about this bit. Hit save. So what's happening now is we've got maybe 10 or 15 different phone calls could be coming in from different numbers. We want to make sure it ends up going to the right contract there. So it goes into here and it's basically going to say which number is it call, uh, is calling. So if it's number this one, then send it down here. If it's number 447, whatever that is, then we'll have, let's do it, set variables and we'll have it run into that. So this block here, as you just saw me do, it's a set variable. And what we're actually doing here is we're setting the phone number that we would like um, the lead to be forwarded onto. So this makes it really easy. We can see domain name, so we know exactly what the property is. And then we can see phone number. So this is exactly what number it will be going to. Um, so what we do on the set variables, we'll just say new variable, call it number. It's very important that this says number lowercase, case sensitive, because that was in our code earlier. Um, and then we give it a value. So again, 447111. And hit save. So now we've got variable called number and we can call this something like um, bills. Oh, no, it's plumbing lead, bills, plumbing biz. Um, absolutely fine to change this in the future. So if you want to keep track of who it's going to, put the business name there, put their number there, nice and easy. Um, so yeah, that's the forwarding number. So now you've got a nice easy way to edit where it's going to, what what client it's going to. This is pretty much the only thing that you're going to need to change in the future. You can keep the, the website the same, the number the same, all that kind of stuff. You can keep this the same. You just pop in here and you say it's a different business. I've sold it to somebody else um, and it's a different number. So you just hit edit and you change the number. So that's all you're going to have to do when you set up, but let's continue setting it up. Okay, so scroll to the bottom down here and we're going to have add twimmel redirect. Put this on. Uh, so yeah, we're going to connect these up. And then this is going to be the actual phone call that's happening. Um, so we've already wrote the code for the phone call. Come back to the twimmel bins. It's the one labeled forwarding. And you just copy that and come back to your studio 
I'm going to pop it in there. Now, once you've made one of these, yeah. Okay, it's not going to let me save. Yeah, it saved it anyway. Uh, this is like your back button, by the way. This expands it out if you want some more space. And that just goes back to normal. Um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't allow you to save, but if you just hit back, it's fine, it's done it. So, this you can actually duplicate, I believe. So now you've got, it's already set to go. So again, you make it once. Um, if you've got a new number, you go down, you just hit duplicate, and that's, that's done. So this is just going through kind of what's happening now. Incoming call, somebody's called your plumbing number. So it comes in here and it says, oh, it's plumbing, send them this way. Um, this is basically saying, Bill's plumbing business, his number is XYZ. And then we're gonna send the caller to this place here, which is our custom bit of code before. And we're going to also send Bill's plumbing number. And then here, this is where it gets sent to, so it runs through this. So what's gonna happen is we're going to dial the number that was found here. Which, uh, sorry, dial this, this number here. <clears throat> so that was Bill's number, that's the one we've just passed it. Um, however, we're also going to send a whisper. So Bill will hear the whisper and then it will connect the call. And what I've also set is to record the phone call to make sure that it continuously plays a ringing tone to the person on the other end until Bill actually starts talking. Um, and then this is another part that helps the ringtone work. And that is pretty much it. If we go back to the whisper, so you can then say, type whatever you want, and this is what's going to be read out to Bill before he answers the call. So he's going to answer it, it's going to say, this is a free lead from Bill the web guy, and then it's going to connect him straight away, and he can start talking to them. So you get to edit that here. Um, okay, so then back to studio. Uh, there we go, that's what we're working on. And that is pretty much it. So you hit save, back out of this. Um, I think it's saying there's an error there because I haven't specified a URL, so I'll just quickly delete that for now. And this will now let me publish it. So I hit publish. Boom, so this is now live and in action. This will work. Now because I'm on a trial account, you do get, you know, like a whisper. You kind of get a whisper when you call and a whisper when you answer a phone, which is Twilio saying, this is a trial account, blah, 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 press one. So um, when you obviously upgrade your account, um, which is, there's no monthly fee, by the way, you just deposit a little bit of money, put your address in and it's, it's upgraded and good to go. And the money that you put in is actually your, your credit to use. Um, so yeah, that'll be... That'll be the number kind of all sorted out for you, upgraded, working, cool. So let's just quickly go back to here. We're gonna to go to phone numbers now and manage. Uh, I think it's active numbers. There we go, so this is that demo one that it gave us. Now, again, once you've got your trial, uh, your actual account, you can buy a number, you can specify where, you can specify all that kind of stuff. That's great. Um, so once you've done that and you've got an active number, you just come in here and what's going to happen with routing so we're going to be accept incoming voice calls we're going to use the studio and now it's after our webhook we're going to change that to a studio flow and then we're going to select our flow uh, i believe it's the same so if you wanted someone to be able to text that number so it's a mobile number it'll be the same thing you come down here you hit the studio flow, my first flow, and then you hit save. And what that's done is we come back to the studio, that is now said when the phone call rings, send it to this trigger. Now you notice I connected up the incoming message, well, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to fail or not, you know, not go anywhere, no one's going to see that until you build something here. So in the future I might build that. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it. So in the future, if I was to set up a new site, uh, I think I'd come along, I'd buy a new number for the site, I can search by, like is it plus four four, what number it is, mobile, landline, whatever location I want, 
this is how much I have to pay each month um, to be able to actually rent the number. So I'll buy a number, then I'll find it here, link it to my flow, uh, then I'll come, yeah, that one. then I'll come to my flow, go into the transitions, and I'll add a new transition. So uh, this new conditions. This is going to look out for that new number that's coming through. And then I'm literally going to duplicate this, going to duplicate this, link these up together, and then when I've got that new transition in there, I'm literally just going to oh, new transition equal to blah blah blah, set condition, now it won't disappear on me, uh, and yeah, just link that in. So, That'll be the whole thing set up. Um, it's, I know it's not. I know it's not your, your really easy kind of everything set up, and you just input it in fields. It is a little bit more technical, but this ultimately now is going to be recording your calls. It's going to be forwarding your calls. It's going to be doing the whisper. You can add as many different numbers as you want to this, um, and yeah, the the pricing is like dirt dirt cheap, <coughs> um, and it's. It's really good as well, like the actual, um, how, what's it called, how reliable it is, it's really good as well. Uh, do, 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 do. The last thing I'm thinking, I'll just do uh, white price, you've got your price in. Just to give you an idea, okay, so it's a two party call. From the US to the US, phone, phone. I'm going to add recording on there. Uh, and then let's just say we had 100 minutes a month. Perfect. So that's how much it will cost you per month in additional fees. Um, just about to have the 100 minutes go through. Again, 1,000. <coughs> So you, you are just paying on like a page you go basis and that includes the core recording and everything. Okay, right, well, I think that's the end of that. It's quite long, it's like 20 minutes, Jesus Christ. Um, I'll get a Google Docs link together and then I'll throw this up on Facebook for you guys. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> Soodles.